Here, I want to present our work named Graph Neural Networks Beyond Compromise Between Attribute and Topology, which is published on the WIBE Conference 2022. This work was collaborated with authors from Hebei University of Technology, Chinese Academy of Science, Sun Yat-sen University, and Tianjin University. The presentation will be conducted as follows. Firstly, we write and analyze the interference between topology and attribute in graph neural networks, which causes the oversmooth insertion and the dissatisfactory link prediction performance. Then we interpret the interference from an optimization perspective and attribute it to the compromise between attribute and topology. Therefore, this people attempts to break this compromise by proposing a novel graph neural network, that is GNNBC, which fits node attribute and topology with different representations and uh, introduces mutual exclusion to reduce the redundancy in both representations. And the mutual exclusion is implemented with Hilbert Schmatt independence criteria. Finally, we evaluate the performance of GNNBC on node classification and link prediction task. First, we analyze the interference between topology and attribute in graph neural networks. Table 1 shows the attribute distortion induced by topology in terms of node classification performance of four commonly used data sets. The performances of some graph neural networks are worse than those of attribute-based MLP. It turns out that the topology turns to interfere the node attributes. On the other hand, Attribute turns to distort the network embedding from topology. Table 2 shows the topology distortion induced by attributes in terms of link prediction performance. The performance of VGAE is worse than that of many topology-based methods. Therefore, we summarize these issues such as oversmoothing, know the similarity distortion and this satisfactory link prediction performance as the interference between topology and attribute for the first time. In this section, some notations used in the paper and uh, several classic graph neural networks for the analysis will be provided. The graph convolutional layers of GCN, SGC, and APPNP are as follows. X stands for the initial node attribute, A stands for the agency matrix, and H stands for the node representation. Recently, some attempts to unify graph neural networks from the perspective of the numerical optimization in this graph representation learning framework, the first term is a unary constraint, which describes the representations of a node should be similar with its original attribute, while the second term is a pairwise constraint, which, depi which depicts connected nodes should possess the similar representation. Furthermore, recent researches have proved that many existing graph neural networks can be derived from this graph representation learning framework. Specifically, these graph neural networks can be induced by numeric optimization methods based on this framework. For example, GCN with initial residual can be seen as a gradient descent solution of the graph representation learning framework. This unifying framework pro provides an insight understanding of graph neural networks, that is, the success of graph neural networks can be attributed to combining topology and node attribute.
As shown in this equation, the unified optimization perspective of graph neural networks consists of two terms. The first term constrains the learned representation H should be similar with the original node attribute X. Since the second term makes the learned representation H meet the topology structure, that is, connected nodes with AIG equals 1 on the similar representation. Therefore, it can be concluded that the learned representations from graph neural networks turn to compromise between original node attribute and graph topology. Although this compromise strategy seems effective on interrogating node attribute and graph topology, it possesses one remarkable defect that interference between topology and attributes weakens the expressive power of the representation. So the question is, how can we break the compromise between attribute and topology during the message passing process? Therefore, a natural way to break the compromise is to fit attribute and topology with different representations and then concatenate them at the final node representation. For generalization, the framework can be formulated as follow. Um, however, representations learned from both attribute and topology may contain some common patterns. To this end, the representative of attribute and topology need to be mutual exclusive. And the framework can be enhanced to this one. The third term constrains the mutual exclusion between the two representations. Therefore, the framework possesses the ability to reduce both interference and redundancy, and thus may facilitate the effective combination of topology and attribute. The main challenge in the implementation is how to define the mutual exclusion term. Since the representation from topology and attribute may possess different, uh, uh, different skills and uh, distributions, Thus, instead of implementing mutual exclusion by directly comparing the representations, statistical dependence is employed. Specifically, statistical dependence narrows the dependence between two random, uh, between two random variables. Here, the hubert schmidt independence criterion is adopted to mirror the dependence for its nonlinearity, flexibility, and uh, computational efficiency. By exploring the HSIC as the mutual exclusion term, the framework can be implemented as this. Lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the hyperparameters to balance the impacts from different terms. Y and Z are the representations learned from attribute and topology, respectively. As discussed in the previous works, that existing graph neural networks can be derived by minimizing the objective function. A novel graph neural network can be derived from this. So the graph so the graph neural network derived from this objective function is named as GNN beyond the compromise, that is GNNBC. To this end, the partial derivative of objective function with respect to both the representation learned from attribute and topology are set to zero, respectively. Y stands for the representations learned from attribute, and Z stands for the representations learned from topology. By iteratively updating them, the objective function can be minimized. 
it should be noted that y is an additional learnable mapping function to enhance the expressive ability. The equations mean removing the common information captured by topology representation from attribute and the information and removing the common information captured by attribute representation from topology. Compared with existing graph neural networks from the objective function, JNBC fits node attribute and topology with different representations and introduces mutual exclusion constraints to reduce the redundancy in both representations. As for the node classification task, to verify the effectiveness of the proposed GNBC, 14 methods are employed as the baselines and the results are shown in this table. We observed that our proposed model achieves new remarkable state-of-the-art results on channel, squirrel, computer, and photo which demonstrates the superiority of it. Among them, Chamlo and Squirrel are representative networks with heterophily, while Computer and Photo are large networks with homophily. As for the link prediction task, we evaluate the performance of our proposed model on eight data sites as shown in this table. The baselines fall into, fall into two categories. Node to Wag and Line are advanced methods of network embedding. Besides, variational graph autoencoder use a node level graph neural network to learn node embeddings to faster reconstruct the network. The results show that our model outperforms VGAE on seven out of eight data sites, which demonstrates the superiority of concatenating representations from attribute and topology under mutual exclusion constraint. Moreover, our model obtains competitive performance compared with node to WIC, which shows our model can avoid the topology distortion induced by attribute to some extent. To provide an intuitive understanding to the model's components, this figure shows the performance of the ablation study on node classification and the link prediction task. To this end, GNNBC with other topology and attribute representation and the GNNBC without the mutual exclusion constraint are compared with respectively. It can be observed that GNBC achieves the best performance in all the tasks. In node classification tasks, embedding from node attribute play more critical role, while embedding from topology is more important in link prediction task. Besides, compared with variant without exclusion with without a mutual exclusion term the mutual exclusion constraint can significantly and consistently improve the performance on almost all the networks, since it effectively reduces the redundancy and information loss to enhance the expressive power. As for the conclusions, we analyze, we analyze the interference between topology and attributes in graph neural networks and uh, ascribe this to the compromise between topology and attribute from optimization perspective for the first time. Based on this, a novel graph neural network is proposed, that is GNNBC which fits attribute and topology with different representations and introduces mutual exclusion based on Hilbert Schmidt independence criterion. Finally, we analyze the evaluation performance and show that GNNBC can 
it can auto, uh, can overcome those attributes and topology related task. Okay. So okay. Uh, do we have questions? Anyone who want to ask a question? Okay, we have two minutes. So I, oh, okay. There's a question from the chat box. The incremental gain in the performance of GNMPC is not large in many cases. So I was wondering that, what is the impact of the added complexity on training time? If the, comp, if the impact is large, I wonder if the complexity is justified. So can the authors answer the question? Hello, uh, I'm sorry. The question is the uh, incremental gain. And I'm sorry, and I, I, I wonder there is no effect with the com com complex uh, with the training time. Yeah, I, I, I think the, the question is interesting as um, uh, I, I can, uh, can be, it can be found in the table four, right? Uh, this is the main performance table for uh, node classification. And um, uh, on most homophily data sets, Cora, PubMed, SciSeer, and, and uh, Computer and Photo, the performance improvement, uh, improvements is not that significant, right? So, okay, I can see the second question in the table five and the preceding table. GMBC is not performing much better than other GCNs. Uh, okay, and the GCNBC performs better on the three heterophily data sets than the Channel and computer, and this is the theory of GNBC. So, so can we interpret it as um as the the GNBC is is some kind of you know um emphasis on the topology information, and the ten and make the model focus on less on the the you know, the features. So it can be, um, so it can outperform other methods on most uh, uh, roughly data sets, right? Okay, it, it may be attributed, attributed to the uh, mutual, mutual ex exclusive, exclusive. And, and, the, and the classic granular networks, networks can outperform the uh, methods uh, because they based on the homophilic assumption. And in this section, and the uh, topology and attribute tends to tends to be filled. And uh, but it, but but it's not appropriate. Uh, but it's not appropriate for the heterophilic data size because in the heterophilic data size and uh, and uh, the, the, the 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 nodes which contains the different attributes and tends to be connected. So, so it's, it's not, not appropriate, appropriate for the, the, the classic, the classical classic graph networks is not appropriate for the heterophilic exercise. Okay. 